As you already loaded shooters, this is the finished product of the high capacity Savage magazine using a P Mag 30 round magazine. So I had to make a separate video for the how to because it would just take forever for this video to finish if I had to I put them or combine them into one. Anyway, if you notice the, uh, the on the the follower that there's a brass attached to it, the main reason for that is to aid for the uh, follower to move all the ammunition up without me uh, modifying the uh, the follower. Also, if you notice, I had to tap the magazine downward so that the ammunition would move forward just a little bit to clear the uh, the back part of the P mag, as I have lined up the uh, the groove with this plastic piece on the uh, the box magazine so that uh, the base of the case would line up correctly uh, when it moves up um, I'll probably well the, uh, if I have to line up the uh, the plastic piece right here where the groove is where the arrow is I have to file the uh, this plastic piece on the box magazine but I don't want to do that because this plastic piece is actually hollow in the middle so if by doing that I'm gonna have to do a lot more work by filling it in with uh, epoxy I, I don't want to do that so the, the minor uh, fix is to just tap the magazine downward so that the ammunition would clear and I can put more ammunition to you know, put it down this magazine is actually just a 21 round magazine technically without uh, counting the end of brass so doesn't want to work so trust me I tried for about over a week I think it was eight days because I had to wait about uh, at least 16 hours for the epoxy to cure and I had to file and everything but it just doesn't want to work I just wasted one good aluminum magazine um, trying to make it work because I thought aluminum magazine would look a lot better than a P-Mag and also the epoxy would adhere to the aluminum better than the, the polymer but I, 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 I did a little fix on that to make sure that the epoxy would bind correctly into the, uh, the polymer magazine by drilling holes around it. Uh, like I said, I will explain everything on a separate video. But um, the, uh, the issues that I've had with the magazine are three. One is when I load the magazine, I have to tap it forward to move the ammunition. Two is the second uh, round, to the second to the last round, sometimes it would not um, leave the magazine because the way the follower would move, would uh, push all the ammunition up, sometimes it's not perfectly even thus preventing or thus making the uh, the bullet side of the cases to be a little bit higher so um, I guess I may have to modify uh, the follower very minor minor uh, modification I'm not sure but um, I really don't have any issues I mean you know it's it's a 20 round magazine you know it's better than five rounds so, like I said, it's not 100% that it does not feed correctly. It's just every other, maybe, fifth loading, something like that. So, it's not a really big deal to me. So, like this one here on this video, see, I didn't even I didn't even see any issues with it. I just had to push the, um, the bullet side of the case, and it just chambered correctly. See, the last round just chambered just fine. So... And also that video earlier before this, I've had another separate video where I'm loading only two rounds at a time and I didn't have any problem with it. So, um, I guess uh, I just probably gonna have to just live with it. If I have to modify it, I really don't want to risk destroying another good magazine. So, uh, I guess other than that, um, like I said, uh, maybe I will have I will get the next video, the how-to video in the next uh, week or so um, on how to do this high capacity magazine and I hope uh, you guys would or this, would, this video would help you guys or inspire you guys to make one yourself. 
because it's uh, if you think about it, it it does require a lot of work in the beginning because you don't know what to do with it. Uh, but once you're done with making this magazine, you can make another one in less than an hour. I'm not even exaggerating. You can make one in less than an hour. Um, but um, the hardest part on making this high capacity magazine is uh, the cutting of the metal, the the, the, the bottom uh, metal of the box magazine because it's pretty thick. And um, it's... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's hard to uh, play around with the Dremel and not have uh, an access to or have a vise available uh, because the, um, the the metal is actually you have to remove pretty much the very edge of the uh, the magazine. So, but it's very doable. Like I said, once you make one, you can make another one in less than well less than an hour, and you have to wait about 16 hours for the epoxy to cure. So. Uh, other than that, y'all, you know, have you have if you guys have any questions, just let me know. But uh, I will probably it's best that you guys just have to wait until um, the how to video is posted and you guys can ask me questions there. Uh, other than that, y'all have fun reloading and shooting out there. See y'all next time. Oh, the rest of this video is just basically me shooting, you know, the um, the rest of the ammunition and the magazine. So this day I probably fired about at least 60 rounds or more. I'm not too sure, but about at least 60 rounds. Alright, so again, y'all have fun reloading and shooting out there. See y'all next time.